Hello there and welcome to the June 2019 paper here we're on paper 2 looking at question 3. In figure 1 shows a sector AOB of a circle with centre O, radius 5 and angle AOB, 40 degrees. The attempt of a student to find the area of the sector is shown below. Explain the error the student has made. So it goes half r squared theta, perfect, half times 5 squared times 40 equals 500 centimetres squared. Well, the error that was made here was in this line here because theta needs to be in radians. Okay, this formula here uh, and the other one related to the arc length must have theta in radians. So let's now do it correctly. So it's going to be half um, times 5 squared times and now what's 40 going to be as a um, as a radian well I know that pi is equal to 180 so how do I get from 180 to 40 um, so that so no don't divide by 40 how do I get from 180 to 140 um, well I'll effectively times by 40 over 180 so I'll do the same on this side here times by 40 over 180 so that's going to give me 4 over 18 2 pi over 9 and you can think about it if you do the same with 180 divide it by 9 you get to 20 and then times by 2 you get to 40 so it's 2 pi by 9 is the angle of 40 in radians so now if I grab my calculator and work that out it's going to be 25 pi by 9. And there we are. That as a final answer is the answer to question B. There we are. That's the answer to question 3 then. So just make sure when you're using these kind of formulas, theta is in radians. Okay, let's move on to question 4.